My name is Steve Lewis. I'm one of the street rod muscle car techs here at Speedway Motors. And today I brought some uh, steering parts in for us to take a look at. Uh, I brought uh, three different steering boxes and then some U-joints uh, and steering shafts that we can talk about. Uh, the first box we got here is our reverse Corvair box. They use this on uh, some of the lighter street rods for traditional style steering. And uh, traditional style steering is where your drag link runs down the left side of the frame rail from the pitman arm to your left front wheel. That's primarily used on T-buckets and some of the lighter cars. Uh, the next box we have here is our Vega steering box. This is used with a cross steer application. And that application would be where the uh, drag link runs from the steering box over to the right front wheel. Uh, the cross steer does have the least amount of bump steer, so that is uh, the one that's more favorable. And I also brought a uh, new offering that we have, our uh, Power Vega box, which allows you to have uh, power steering on some of the heavier cars, like if you're doing a gas or recreation uh, and you want to drive it on the street a little bit more, it makes it a little easier to drive on the street. Um, I brought some of the steering shafts with, with me this morning. Uh, we have a uh, couple different styles here. Uh, this is kind of a basic uh, steering shaft. It's just three-quarter round steel, solid. Uh, what you use with that is you'll use a U-joint like this that's just a three-quarter round. And you just slide it on like that, weld it on, and then you're good to go. Uh, I also brought uh, kind of a combination one here. This has the smoothness of the round shaft, but it has the double D on the end, uh, which is... Uh, you would use a U-joint like this, and double D slides on that, and there's a little set screw that holds it tight. We have uh, two versions of complete double Ds. Uh, this is a double D, just a plain steel one. The double D's milled all the way down, the full length of it. This is nice if you need something that's kind of an odd length or something like that. You can cut it to whatever length that you need. And like the other one, it does use that same double D U-joint. And we also have that version available in a polished stainless steel. That way uh, you can get it all polished up there and it looks real nice. When it comes to U-joints, the big thing that we always uh, kind of get questions on is how many splines the steering box has. Uh, with the ones we sell, uh, we're, all, we're already going to know what uh, the spline is and what the diameter is. What I've done here on this Vega box is I've put a little chalk mark across the middle of it. And what you can do as far as counting the splines is start at one side of the mark and just count around to the other side and uh, then just uh, double that and that gives you the total spline count. Some of the factory boxes you'll see will have a uh, what's called a dummy spline and that was used on the factory as the cars were coming down the assembly line. It made it just easier for the guys to just stick the column in there. They didn't have to worry about anything being lined up. Uh, and one thing you'll want to do is always measure the outside of the steering shaft that gives us the diameter and then after you uh, count the number of splines we can uh, generally get you a u-joint fixed up. Uh, the u-joints I brought uh, we've looked at the one that's just the just the standard round. These will get uh, get you about 30 degrees of misalignment there and uh, I also brought one here that's a double u-joint. Some of the uh, applications where you have a big engine in a kind of a small car like maybe a Hemi in a uh, Model A or something, uh, you may have to use like a double U joint. This will get you about 70 degrees worth of uh, uh, misalignment on it. I did bring one here. Uh, this one's kind of a real beefy one. Uh, it's from uh, Unisteer. And uh, the reason why it is so beefy is it's got a different type of uh, uh, way to retain it. Uh, and where most of them uh, just has a set screw, this actually has a pinch bolt. So what you'll need to do is when you put the double D shaft inside there, you'll need to, as you can see, it doesn't fit all the way through there. So what you'll need to do is remove the pinch bolt, slide the shaft in there and then mark it, and then pull the shaft out and then notch the shaft for the pinch bolt to go through there. And then after you get that notch and all set, uh, this will need to be torqued to 45 foot pounds uh, to get you a nice tight fit for that. Uh, what I've actually done, on the uh, regular full double D shaft, and I've kind of pre got this all pre-done up here. I like to use these on my car. Uh, I've removed the uh, set screw in there, and once you get it all where you want it, just take a magic marker 
and uh, mark that uh, spot where the set screw is and then take your drill and uh, just uh, make a little dimple in that and that way the set screw has, uh, has something to seat down into and that'll hold it nice and tight. Uh, so that kind of about covers everything we've got. I've got one other thing here is our uh, support heim. Definitely want to use a support heim if you're using uh, more than uh, th three or more U-joints or if you're using the double ones. Uh, the support heim, it's seven thousandths oversized, so it will slide very easily over a, a round shaft. And uh, you can also uh, slide right through on the double D e shaft. Uh, for those of you that did, really didn't see the end of the double D e shaft, the reason why they call it double D uh, is it's rounded on each end, so it would be just like you would put two of the letter Ds back to back. Uh, so that kind of covers what we brought here for us to look at today. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call here at Speedway Motors or check us out on the website at speedwaymotors.com and uh, any of our techs will be glad to help you out on any questions you have. And I appreciate you joining us today. Mm -hmm.